I'm Dominic Johnson. And I'm Caden. And this is the Wildcat News for Monday, February 6th. Students, make sure you're wearing your IDs. If you don't have your ID today, then you need to get a temporary ID from your homeroom teacher. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Here are today's announcements. It's time to find out what's for lunch today. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Today, the basketball playoffs, playoffs continue with the boys at home against the league and the girls playing at league. Turn out and support the boys and girls basketball team against league Monday at 6.30. Girls play at league at 6.30 and the boys play home at 6.30. Don't forget, it's a whiteout. Go Wildcats. <laughs> Don't forget about the Sand Lappers Collection Drive. If we will bring 350 items as a school, then we'll have a then we'll get to see a faculty student basketball game. Reading club meets tomorrow at 8 a.m. Wildcats for a college meets today at 3.30 p.m. There are only 13 days left to pre-order yearbooks. Bring your $35 to Ms. Adams' room in room 117 before school. It's time to learn about the important person in black history. Dr. May C. Jemison always believed in following her dreams. In fact, she followed her dreams right into space. Two, one, boost to ignition and lift off of the space shuttle. Born October 17, 1956 in Decatur, Alabama, but calling Chicago, Illinois her home. She always wanted to be a scientist. She believed it was her destiny to one day blast off into outer space. The young May also had a strong talent for dance, studying it from age nine. At age 16, she attended Stanford University on a scholarship studying chemical engineering and African and Afro-American studies. While in her senior year of college, she was deciding between two careers, either a doctor or a professional dancer. She decided to continue on in the medical field. She applied to and was accepted by Cornell University Medical School. Dr. Jemison worked as a general practitioner in Los Angeles, California, before joining the Peace Corps in West Africa. She has also practiced medicine in a Cambodian refugee camp. In June 1987, Dr. Jemison was selected for NASA's astronaut program. Her love of dance followed her into space. She took a poster of the Alvin Ailey American Dance Company along with her on the flight. With a successful launch of the Space Shuttle Endeavor on September 12, 1992, Dr. May C. Jemison became the first black female to travel into orbit. The first thing she saw from space was her hometown of Chicago. Her young dream had come true, and she even danced in space. In March 1993, Dr. Jemison left NASA. She then founded the Jemison Group, which focuses on improving healthcare in Africa. Dr. Jemison has also had a television career. She's the only real astronaut to ever appear on a Star Trek series. She was the host and technical consultant for the series Worlds of Wonder. Dr. Jemison didn't let a lack of role models discourage her. She had big dreams and made them happen. 
She has been a doctor, a dancer, an astronaut and a chemical engineer, but most of all, she has been an inspiration. Friday will be the last day you can pick up your missing item from the lost and found. Next Friday, everything left will be donated. That's all the announcements we have for today. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. If you don't have an ID, then you need to get a temporary ID from your own teacher. Hi, I'm Dominic. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dominic. <laughs> Monday, February 6th. Students, make sure you're wearing your <laughs>